Hey, what's up everybody? We're taking a wild ride into the world of Grand Theft Auto Online, where a recent software limitation had the devs working overtime and gamers on the edge of their seats. Buckle up and join me as I put on my detective hat and dive headfirst into the chaos. This is gonna be fun, let's roll. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. So in this video we're talking about something that's a bit out of my usual realm, software development. As we know, Rockstar released their weekly update to Grand Theft Auto Online a few hours late this week. Turns out there'd been a limitation discovered in the underlying software of GTA that's been causing quite a stir. As someone who makes a living as a senior software engineer, typically working on business SaaS and online SaaS, that's software as a service, I'm kind of intrigued and thought it might be helpful to give you my take on the situation. Now, before we dive in, let me say that I am a huge fan of the GTA series. I'm fairly confident most of you know that. But when it comes to game development, I know about as much as I do about the mating rituals of the African dung beetle. So take everything I say with a grain of salt or a pinch of humor or whichever you prefer. Okay, so let's get to it. So the limitation in question has to do with the price changes for in-game vehicles. Apparently, the software only allowed for price changes on up to four vehicles at a time without showing the on sale flag. The problem? Well, the pricing changes for this week was across 16 vehicles. That's like trying to fit an elephant into an issy weenie. It's just not going to happen. Sorry? So it's weird shit. Now I should clarify, from the recent screenshots and tweets I've seen, it looks like there were originally 20 slots available for permanent price changes, but only four were left. Now as an outsider looking in, I can only speculate on why this limitation was put in place. Perhaps the original developers thought that 20 20 slots for price changes was more than enough, or maybe there were concerns about performance with more simultaneous price changes. Who knows? Maybe someone really just liked the number 20. That's the beauty of speculation. It's an endless buffet of possibilities. So let's take a moment to imagine what was happening inside the GTA dev team's headquarters today, yesterday, and honestly, probably a lot of the week. I can picture developers frantically chugging coffee and energy drinks, surrounded by stacks of pizza boxes as they pull all-nighters to resolve the issue. Senior developers might have been pacing back and forth, muttering something about how they should have seen this coming, kind of like a scene from a tech-themed thriller. Jokes aside, I'm sure the stress levels among the teams were sky high. Fixing limitations like this, especially with literally millions of eager fans waiting for the update, is no easy task. I can only imagine the number of meetings and brainstorming sessions they must have had trying to find a solution. Senior developers were likely feeling the pressure to lead their teams through the crisis, while also managing their own stress, and I've been there. It's kind of like trying to juggle flame swords while walking a tightrope with a broken ankle. Anyway, let's all remember to be kind to the GTA dev team. They're working hard to bring us an amazing gaming experience, and sometimes limitations like this one are just part of the process. As a fellow developer, I know how challenging it can be to tackle the unexpected issues, and I have no doubts they'll pull through this stronger than ever. And who knows, maybe this will inspire me to learn a bit more about game development. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.